Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utami Cross Gacha slash tutorial video. Well, for this particular video, we're gonna talk about the certain changes that has been made for the ticketing event, which is the first event of the month. Um, normally, we are so used to having the events being the same, you know, for about half a year or so, ever since things have turned around um, with the seven star episode plates being introduced but you know the Dana decided you know it's time to ramp things up to make the newer players excited and uh, well the um, senior players as well excited for the game once again so how did they actually change things up let's take a look at the event page itself and explore what is brand new if you guys have not noticed for yourself yet yeah, consider it an update video for yourself. So, alright, nothing has actually changed when it comes to gameplay. You know, you still have your basic three songs that you can play using your tickets that you earn basically from your regular lives outside the event page. So yes, you, you will have to use your tickets to earn points, you know, by playing these event songs. Um, you know, at the same time, if you want to, you know, power up your diva's proficiency you know for each particular song but what is actually changed well basically it's within the rewards of the event so if you guys have not noticed um, within the rewards page as you can tell I have not played a single song within the event that's why I've got zero points here but the main thing that has really really taken note for a lot of people is this which is the five star episode plate that you can attain from the event itself. Normally, you only get a single copy from the regular rewards that is from here, but now you are able to attain two copies of the five star episode plate. Um, in the past, you will have to probably work very hard to get yourself within top 1000 to attain the second copy which will eventually evolve your 5 star to a 6 star episode play. So yes, Dana is being very generous here. You can literally just get 2 copies out from the rewards here and well, don't play anymore. <laughs> so why is it actually attracting you know the newer players in and of course making the older players excited? Well, for newer players, Yes, you'll be able to attain a 6 star episode plate right off the bat. You know, even though even though the episode plates usually tend to have um, lower stats than those you will get from paid gachas, but it's a free 6 star episode plate and you probably won't have to wait as long to try and attain a second copy of an episode plate you've already gotten from a paid gacha itself. So yes, it is an exciting thing for brand new players. You will be easily give, given a 5 star plate that's going to evolve to a 6 star straight off the bat just by you know working hard. Like, all you have to do is just play up to 18, um, well 180,000 points uh, to be exact and that's probably where you can decide to wave the white flag. But of course if you decide to push harder, you know attaining the extra uh, Zodiac medals um, will definitely eventually pay off in the long run once you've completed all four events within the month itself You will be able to exchange three copies of the chaos exchange Five star episode plate and still have plenty of Zodiac medals left over for well materials for your episode plates itself So aside from this that has changed right the ranking rewards has also changed so now if you place yourself within the top 100 placing, you will gain all the wonderful medals um, for, well, you know, good ranking. <laughs> Aside from the special event medal that you will get. So, and the other thing that has changed, the 5 star episode plates have now increased in a quantity. So as you can tell, you get 10 copies when you rank 100 and above. In the past, if you place yourself, well, top 100, you only get two additional copies. So in the past, like I said, as long as you rank um, top 1000 and above, you will only get one more copy of this. 
this has now changed to two. In fact, if you rank yourself top 2,000 and above, you will be given one single copy of the five-star episode plate. So if you are really, really extremely lazy, rank yourself top 2,000, and of course, clear a total of um, 180,000 points, and that's pretty much it. The event is over for you. That is if you are really, really lazy. So what you'll be ending up with, if you are in the extremely lazy mode, basically you will have a six star episode plate with a plus one luck value, which is pretty good. But of course, if you are extremely hardworking, and especially if you are a new player, and if you somehow manage to push yourself to, let's say, top 500 ranking, you get five extra copies of the five star episode plate, which will, you know, place yourself at a plus five luck value for a six star episode plate, which is the bare minimum essential you will need for the episode plate to be worth uh, while, well, you know, just for high score achievements. So if you're a brand new player, this is pretty much good news. But, of course, if you're a brand new player, you're gonna be lacking in terms of efficiency of getting those tickets. You will definitely need episode plates with luck value to attain those tickets, um, you know, with the least amount of cost or energy cost required to play lives. So, yeah, you know, to get good in this event requires a lot of monetary value <laughs> or patience. You know, if you are brand new to the event or even to the game, um, not being able to get top 500 isn't so bad. Uh, as long as you attain yourself some decent amount of episode plates that is of high ranking, um, get yourself some decent plates to get yourself some good you know, scores. Uh, you're pretty much okay. And of course, if you stick around long enough, eventually you get an awesome arsenal just like me and some of the whalers out there who are definitely way more powerful than me. <laughs> so yes, for new players, it's an opportunity to catch up. For older players, if you haven't been catching up, it's a good opportunity to start now. And if you have been whaling, well, uh, just consider this an uh, easy breeze cakewalk to, you know, expand your collection of episode plates and medals. You know, you want that shiny, blinging new Valkyrie medal <laughs> that has Macross in the center of it. You know, yeah, it's, it's all good, actually. So, um, aside from that, I don't think anything has changed from the events, missions. Um, you know, aside from the fact that they are giving out Nian Kuji tickets right now for the daily missions, you know, because they are celebrating the brand new release for Valkyrie's fourth single, uh, Mirayon, you know, in short, with a Nian Kuji. So, yes, Nian Kuji tickets are pretty, you know, precious right now, especially if you're trying to obtain that very, very pretty looking uh, illustration for Valkyrie in the. Uh, Valkyrie Seiyu and singing actresses um, design costumes so yeah all right so with the event and the tutorial portion of this video out of the way let's talk about the brand new gacha that is the seven star maki maki look at that everything is flowing especially the part that <laughs> <laughs> makes Maki Maki special. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the episode plate itself. It's a 7 star episode plate. Definitely, it will have a total score of 4,000 or more. You know, and of course, it's pretty well balanced out on stats all around. Take note of the other 3 divas usable for this plate. You know, pretty surprising. Basara is in this lineup. <laughs> Alright, so just like always, you know, the 7 star episode plate will come with two different center skills depending on what song series you are playing because Makina is from Macross Delta. If you're using it for Macross Delta song, yes, you will get the double S rank center skill. Yep, 
So, Macross Delta Songs units total is boosted by 50% up. So, with, if it's used in a different series song, well, units total is just boosted by 30% up. So, still a pretty good, decent um, percentage in boost, you know, considering that it's just a single target effect. So, we've seen 90% for some episode plates, but, you know, it, it's okay considering that it's a situational center skill. Alright, let's move on to the second page. The active skill, as always, if you have fully evolved the plate to its 7 star glory, you will be able to activate the active skill twice. So for 15 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Now, if it's just its 6 star form, well, it gets its regular 6 star episode plate effect, which is the um, hun no. Was it 100%? Yeah, it's 100% boost for 10 seconds, single time use. So that's pretty okay as well. I mean, it's considered to be a 6 star episode play. So, yeah. Alright, live skill score up. Hmm, it actually has a high score boosting live skill. But of course, being that it's a B rank, it's so-so. Eh, so, at the 35 second mark, for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 20% up. Alright, so last page. Will this be the first 7 star plate with a special note? Nope, apparently not. <laughs> I don't think they will actually release one with a special note just yet. Um, maybe until all the divas have probably gotten a copy of their 7 stars, then probably Dana might announce one with a special note and that's when the whalers are gonna go crazy all over again <laughs> all right so yes like always it is essential to try and attain the seven star episode plate or rather at least a six star um edition of it because it's gonna help you out throughout all the events within a month so if you can spare the money go and buy those discounted packs that are currently available Yes, we are on the second round of discounted um, packs. Um, if you guys have been following all the information I've been sharing, because yes, they are celebrating the release of Valkyrie's fourth single, like I'm saying once again. So therefore, you know, there are discounted packs with Nian Kuji tickets attached to them. So if you can afford to, go and purchase them, especially the, probably the just, just the most expensive packs alone will do you good. Uh, so far, that's why what have what I've been doing. As you can see, why I have that many sinking stones, <laughs> because I literally tossed like um, two packs of ten thousand yen, plus um, the one thousand day special discounted pack at twelve thousand yen. So that's literally thirty two thousand yen out my wallet. So very painful. <laughs> And if you're wondering, have I gotten a fully evolved copy of the Nyan Kuji episode plate? Yes, I have. But unfortunately enough, um, there is a page 3 with another 5 copies. So it is possible to attain a plus 5 luck um, of this particular episode plate here. You know, plus 5 luck on this awesome episode plate that can be used by everyone i've already explained this um episode plate in another video if you have not watched it please go and do so i won't explain how awesome this plate is once again so yeah so i am page three as you can see on list three and there's five copies of this episode plate within the 800 price pool <laughs> so it is literally possible to get a plus five luck value like I said, plus 5 luck is the bare minimum um, to power up a 6 star episode plate to get the full effectiveness of its um, stats for high score achievement purposes. So if you don't want to go through it the expensive way by spending your hard earned real world money, you can use all the items that you probably might have been storing up for Chaos Exchange, um, yeah, in this 
page here if you guys remember me talking about it where you can literally exchange the fragments for all these useful stuff um, if you've gotten one copy of the episode plate just from the free um, you know Nyan Kuji tickets you've attained you know you can use the rare up star to power it up to its six star form then of course you can use secret stones you know to unlock its plus five luck value if you've got plenty of it then of course using the large luck stone to power up all the five leaves or even its luck value to get those effects that help you boost your high score purposes you basically have done everything um, the same by pulling well all three lists of items um, without the use of real life physical money <laughs> but you know doing all that is pretty expensive in the long run not just with your own physical money but with the resources from the game itself because luck stones rare up stars and you know um secret secret stones they are very hard to come by i have only gotten that many since the in first introduction of the items and i've not used a single one so you can probably estimate how rare it is to get one or two pieces of each of the items so play smart think smart uh, before you do anything foolish <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's dive back into the gacha. I'm gonna do the pool right now. We have been dilly dallying way too long, but all the information is necessary, I guess. Um, if you guys haven't really grasped the idea of Uta Micros as a whole. Oh yes, before I actually do the pool, there is one last thing I probably want to mention. Um, if you guys didn't know already by now, I have already done a video for it talking about the special pass that is replacing the um, previous Utamaku pass. Um, the special pass, if you subscribe to it every month, whenever you renew your subscription, they will give you these special tickets. Um, you can see the top portion here. It's this very colorful looking ticket. Um, these can be used on any paid gacha, but sadly to say, they can only be used with single pools. So when you tap the single pool icon, you can see that you are given the choice of you know using the ticket to pull or you can use stones to pull. So you can't use it on the 10 plate pools discounted. Um, I'm not sure whether it actually works with uh, the regular price version of the 10 plate pool. So let's find out right about now, I guess after this, once I do the discounted one, if I do get Martina's plate, I might consider pulling again. Let's see how things go. Anyways, let's do this. My first discounted template pull of Martina's 7 star gacha. Uh, if you guys recall, I did mention that I had my game reinstalled. So this loading bar here. It's a bit of a false description right now because a lot of the episode plates um, aren't exactly downloaded into my phone data. So, yeah, let's see how things go. Okay, we've got a regular Valkyrie rate uh, animation. So, one red box on the first bling, three in total. I don't see the plate coming out this time around. So there we go, the first red box not evolving to even a 5 star, ouch. Okay here we go, the second one. So no evolution of it, lots of higher Thado. Okay, let's keep going, ouch, again. And the last red box, oh we do get evolution, bless my waifu. Oh. It is an old plate, but still pretty okay, considering that it's a 5 star. I'm just thinking more about the costume points and the uh, ability of maybe attaining a large episode art from it eventually. Gotta look ahead, think positive, and aim far. Okay, so with this out of the way, the discounted pool was definitely a okay flop. Not the best 
5 star you can get. So let's see if I can actually use all 10 tickets at one go. Apparently not. So yes, the tickets can only be used with single pulls. I probably might do this on my own timing because doing single pulls is a bit tedious. I don't know. Maybe let's just do one. <laughs> and see if I can actually continue to use the tickets um, after pulling a single episode play out. There we go. A bit of loading. Oh, what's my neighbor doing upstairs? A lot of noise coming around. Okay. No changes. That's kind of a bummer. Alright. Oh, they actually allow you to use the ticket consecutively. So that's pretty good. So let's just do that. You guys will get to see a full extended Gachapu, <laughs> I guess, until maybe I pull a copy of Machina's Played Out. So, no bling, no Valkyrie. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, I think I'm just gonna skip this entire thing. There we go. Oh, it, we, we still managed to pull a new Played Out. <laughs> That's surprising. Alright, my third. Ticket pool. Oh. Okay, so a single Valkyrie doesn't really mean much. Alright. Nope. Alright, there we go. I mean, there are chances where a silver normal rare rarity box can evolve to a rainbow. So, you know, certain things just might surprise us. Alright, no Valkyrie, so this is definitely going to be a flop. Let's just drain away all the bad luck first. Alright, there we go. Oh, too many copies of this one. So yeah, um, even though you do get tickets from subscribing the special pass, you might want to consider using them wisely, like in this kind of scenario where I'm just washing away all the bad luck. And hopefully the regular priced 500 Singing Stone Pool might end up being better. But if I do get the 7th or rather the 6th star plate out of a single ticket pool, oh, that would be totally awesome. <laughs> Here we go. So nothing special out of the animation so far. Which is kind of expected because single pools tend to have terrible luck. Um, I do get, you know, super lucky uh, once in a blue moon with single pools, but that's just too much of a gamble. Okay. Oh, just a single Valkyrie. It ah, doesn't really mean anything. Probably might be a 3 star plate or something. Yeah, there we go. It's a 3 star. A, a pretty rare 3 star, actually. So that's pretty okay. Alright, keep going. No animation. I'm just gonna skip everything. Because there's really no point in watching the boxes frame change if there's no Valkyrie animation at all. You do get a single plane. Okay, nothing at all. How many? Oh, this is the last one. So, pretty okay pool. We didn't even get any red boxes out of these. So, that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, like I said, think positive. We just drain most of the bad luck away. So, let's do this. We're back to the regular 10 plate pools. And hopefully enough with the bad luck gone, we might get lucky. Uh, 
Alright, a bit of a loading there, but like I said, it's not exactly an indicator right now. Oh, oh. Oh, still the regular rate of luck. Okay, one red box. Four red boxes. Wow. Okay, no evolution on this one. Let's skip the common stuff. In the second red box. No evolution once again. Eh, but a pretty face looking down. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh. I always feel a heartache whenever I see that image. Alright. Seems like all the red boxes are staying still and not evolving. That's kind of a bummer. No evolution there once again. Alright. A pretty da uh, bummer pool of... 10 plates there. Alright, so let's do it again. I wonder how many times do I have to pull just to get one copy of Makina's plate. Like in the past when I do 7 star episode plate pulls, I, I always end up with a Freya 6 star. What's with all the 3 Valkyrie animations? Is this the wrong day to pull gachas? Oh god. Maybe I have to try tomorrow instead. Alright, here we go. No evolution. Uh, another old rare plate. But that's okay. Alright, another failed pull. Okay, I'm gonna exit out of the gacha page and we're gonna try again, hopefully with that refresh luck, so-called. I mean, it's just a superstition, but you know, it never hurts to try. All right, here we go. Come on, Maki Maki, bring in the love. Here we go. Oh no. It really feels like today is not the day to be pulling gacha. Oh, this is just horrible. Last red box. Oh, yeah. Even Gumlin feels a bit disappointed. <laughs> this is just horrible. Oh, he evolved. Ah, he salutes my determination to try. <laughs> okay, I tell you what. I am going to do one last template pool for today. If this doesn't go well, I'm stopping here. And I'm going to try again tomorrow and see how things go. If I do get lucky tomorrow, you'll definitely see a video coming up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, it looks like today is a bad day. Oh! What in the world? The rainbow box appeared first. Does that mean? So if the red box appears first before the rainbow, oh, it came out first. So, oh, it, it even gave a terrible episode play. Okay. <laughs> and ended up being a terrible pool after all. Uh, even though it is a 5 star, but you know, Valkyrie plates are horrible, especially if they're older ones. Um, yeah. Alright, so like I was saying, if the red box appeared first before the rainbow one, um, there might be a high tendency for it, you know, evolving. So, sadly to say, yeah, see, even this old plate, I didn't have it evolve. Uh, this is just a horrible round of video recording for Gacha. <laughs> oh, but, you know, 
not, not every day is a glorious day. So thank you guys for joining me on another horrible adventure through Ultra Macross Gachas. <laughs> if you guys appreciated all the translated content and of course the updates for the brand new ticketing event, not exactly brand new, I mean updated ticketing event, um, let me know by hitting that like button and commenting down below on your th th thoughts. I'm definitely not thinking straight right now. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go rest right after this, you know, coming back from work and all that stuff. So, yeah guys, if you appreciate the stuff, you guys know what to do. Chat with me in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Why are you not subscribed? Come on, hit that button right now. And I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow with another, well, silent gacha pool video. Who knows? And see how luck goes. Until then, bye!